Now, I'm very proud to introduce the original Nellie Forbush and one of America's brightest stars, Mary Martin. <laughs> um, uh, the original you, Mary Martin. You always were an original, darling. <laughs> I'll say. Well, you know, speaking of originals, <laughs> yeah? my original Mary Martin, mm -hmm. when you sang, my heart belongs to Daddy. Yes. Darling, you took my heart and so many others with Were her. you there? And it's, I was there, sitting in the balcony. You look as lovely today as you did then. You're a little more dressed now. Well, the, yes. I didn't do, do the, the old routine, you know. I'm, I'm even going to keep my jacket on. Oh, you look lovely, darling. Darling, I am so thrilled to be here and with you. And we're so happy that you could find time. You know, we were sorry you couldn't be with us when we did the whole gala. Yes. But to have come in specially for this, we're grateful to you. And we know that you I'm did so it for a special to be reason. I'm here because of PBS mm. and because of you. I am excited about being a, a member of PBS beginning this summer. I'm going to be the hostess of Over Easy. Oh, wonderful. From San it, Francisco. From San, my yeah. hometown. Well, my darling, right. I get there every year. You, you sure? Every Maybe year. Maybe you'll be on the program with me. Promise? Promise. Okay. With you anytime. I'd right. love it very much. Listen, I, when, when I heard that we were going to, to be together, I was given a song years and years ago by Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein. It was back in 1938 mm. or 39. And I have never sung it, but this song was called The Sweetest Sight That I Have Seen. And Oscar Hammerstein wrote this for his Dorothy as a poem. And they had been on the beach one day and they saw this old couple walking hand in hand on the beach. And it meant so much to him that he went back and wrote the lyrics later on he gave it to Jerome Kern, whom I loved and adored, and he wrote a song. He wrote the melody, and the song was called The Sweetest Sight That I Have Seen. So, when I heard that you would, I said, Isaac, can you play this song if I send it to you? I've never sung it, and I can't read music. Remember what happened? And then? you know what happened? Mm -hmm. I said, where's F sharp? And you said, um. see, see, isn't that marvelous? <laughs> I can't read music, and he can. Isn't it wonderful? So where's F? Lucky one of us can. Anyway, go ahead, darling. F. <laughs> now we're going to do it in G. Oh, isn't that ah. just heaven? Mm. Especially for this performance tonight. As we promised, Mary. Yes. Here we are to oh, do are the we? song. <laughs> now, now and, a dub, and a triple first, I think. First time I've had the honor to appear with you, my dear. Well, and the first time I've had the honor of appearing with you and to sing this song, and with Mr. Colson. First time I've seen it, as a matter of fact. <laughs> so after the long rehearsal earlier this evening for a few <laughs> minutes here, we shall try and see how we can put it together. <laughs> it too. And these are the words that Oscar Hammerstein wrote for his darling Dorothy back in 1938 or 9. I have seen a line of snow white birds drawn across an evening sky. I have seen divine unspoken words shining a lover's eye I have seen moonlight on a mountain top silver and cool and still I have heard church bells faintly echoing over a distant hill close enough 
love to beauty.